Greetings from the Nyan Pandemic Resource Team. We've put together some templates for your consideration and this video is a quick tour of that. As you recall, in June of 2020, the RI Board of Directors put in place a number of requirements for districts to follow in order to, to participate in Rotary Youth Exchange during the 2020 and 2021 Rotary year. We expect a lot of these rules will be in place longer than the current cycle. And so the resources that we have here should help you regardless of what your plans are for the current year. If you go to nyan.org, you can find these within this YEO resources page. And within that, you'll find a Nyan templates folder. And there's a subfolder there called pandemic crisis plans. And within that, there's three documents. The first one is a memo of understanding. You may already have one of these in your district, but many districts haven't implemented something like this yet. This is a memo of understanding for early termination of exchanges. For any reason, uh, the RI board requested that this be part of the response to pandemics. So natural parents sign this, host districts, sponsor districts. It makes it clear where the who has the responsibility for costs associated for repatriation or early termination of, of exchanges. Next is the crisis management plan. So this is very similar to, to other plans in the past, mostly. Um, and it does include some sections that are recommended by the RI staff. Uh, they held a webinar in September of 2020 and provided some resources in this area. And so this template includes sections that are recommended by that group. It has information about initial response to crisis situations and also communication planning and tactics during crisis situations. In the first section, and this will look familiar if you have a crisis management plan or if you've seen other templates, much of it is the same, but it does include those new sections. Uh, it can encompass any crisis, not just pandemic situations. Um, and you'll need to modify this to suit your needs. Some districts are able to put this into a very short version and that is perfectly fine, but we recommend that you make sure that your volunteer team has access to the details on how they should respond to these situations. The second section of this template is very specific to our current pandemic situation. Uh, and it also responds very directly to those requirements that were published in June of 2020 by the RI board. A special note here on section two, you're gonna need to customize this a great deal for your district. Every district has a vastly different context in terms of external agencies who communicate and make decisions on public health, such as school closures and openings um, and, and social requirements, social um, you know, protocols and so forth. So within your own district, you're gonna to have to identify who makes those decisions, how those, communication, um, how those communications happen and how that affects your students and your volunteers and put that into this plan. The last item that we've created is the compliance checklist. And this is nothing more than all of the requirements from the RI board put into a format that will enable you to identify whether or not you're meeting this and how, so that after you've created your documents, you can make sure that you've met each and every one of the requirements that RI is asking, asking you to, to meet. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please direct those to the leadership team of the Nyan board and they'd be happy to respond or make connections with others, uh, other volunteers in Nyan who can help you.